Hi boys and girls. Welcome back to the Human Body Read Aloud series. This is Grade 1, Domain 2, Lesson 4. It is called Chew, Swallow, Squeeze, and Churn. All right, Dr. Wellbody, the rhyming pediatrician, has been teaching you all about various systems at work within your body. Each system is made up of different organs or parts that do special jobs for the human body. The systems are all tied together in a network to keep the human body alive and healthy. Remember, at the end of yesterday's Read Aloud, Dr. Wellbody gave you a clue about the system that you'll be learning about today. And, well, she said, we'll have a lot to chew on. So you might have guessed this. Uh, today, you're going to learn about the digestive system. So the process of breaking food down into energy for your bodies is called digestion. I want you to predict how long it takes your body to process or digest food. Now listen carefully to see if your prediction is correct. Take a look at this picture. Yum! A chicken burrito. I, Dr. Wellbody, the rhyming pediatrician, am feeling hungry. I think a chicken burrito would taste mighty good right now. Healthy foods like chicken burritos, homemade pizzas, apples, and carrots are extremely important to our bodies. We cannot live without food. Food is the fuel that gives us the energy we need to stay alive, to walk, talk, think, and breathe. The energy from food helps us to stay warm. We use its energy even when we are sleeping. Food helps children grow. It helps us heal when we are hurt or sick. So how do our bodies process or digest the food we eat? Your digestive system makes all this happen. Let's find out how it works. Pretend that you just took a bite out of a cracker. What are you going to do now? That's right, chew. And while your teeth are crushing, chomping on the cracker, a liquid called saliva is helping to soften the food in your mouth and make it even mushier. Does anyone know another name for saliva? It's spit. Once your food is good and mushy, it is time to swallow. When you do, the chewed up food goes into a tube that connects your mouth to your stomach. This tube is called your esophagus. It is about half as long as your arm and about as wide as your thumb. The food doesn't just slide down it. There are muscles in your esophagus that squeeze the food along the way you squeeze toothpaste from a tube. From there, the food goes into your stomach. Do you know where your stomach is? If you point to a spot a little above your belly button and then move your hand a little more to the left, you can feel your rib bones. Your stomach is there, partly behind your ribs. Your stomach is like a big bag or balloon. It expands or gets bigger as it fills with food. Powerful muscles in your stomach squeeze the food and turn it around like clothes in a washing machine. At the same time, stomach juices, a watery mixture made by your body, help turn the mushy food into liquid. Food stays in your stomach for about three or four hours. Digestion is happening while you work, play, and sleep. Every time you eat a meal, you swallow a little air. As your stomach churns the food, the air makes noises, sometimes called tummy rumblings. When the air passes back out through your mouth, sometimes with a loud noise, it is called belching or burping. The liquid moves from your stomach a little bit at a time into a tube called the small intestine. Your small intestine is narrow but it is very long, around 15 feet in all. Since you are probably only around four feet tall, how does your intestine, more than three times longer than you are tall, 
fit inside you? The answer is that your intestine is all coiled or folded up inside you, underneath your stomach. Food stays in the small intestine about six hours. In the small intestine, all the good things from the liquid food get absorbed by or taken into your blood. The blood carries these nutrients and vitamins from the liquid food that's been digested around your body so they can give you energy, help you grow, and keep you healthy. But there are still some bits of food that aren't used up and are left behind in the small intestine. These leftover bits are called waste. The waste gets pushed into your large intestine. This is a tube like your small intestine, only shorter and wider. It is curled like an upside down U around your small intestine. From there, the waste gets pushed out of your bottom when you go to the bathroom. It may take two days for your food to travel through your whole digestive system. And that is how digestion works. Here's my little rhyme about the digestive system. A healthy body needs good food. There really is no question. Your body gets the things it needs. Just leave it to digestion. The next time we get together, I'll help you find out all about the most important muscle in your body. One that works all the time, but never gets tired. All right, guys and girls, I'll see you next time. Bye.